<laughs> What's good, y'all? Uh, Night Rider Fitness is in the building, man. Just got up from a little nap. Um, I'm actually gonna go in here in my home gym today and train some chest and back. Uh, probably might record this back workout. Um, and hopefully it, the back part of portion of it will probably be up. Uh, I don't know, maybe in a day or two. So we'll see. Um, but man, I thought this was really important. Um, Dave Goins, or Goy, uh, sub ours, and who is quickly becoming a close friend of mine. Um, we were discussing this. I put a video up. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Grocery store pickups. All right, go look. Go check that video out. Um, and he was asking me, you know, about the sodium. You know, uh, how, do I worry about the sodium um, in my food and this my sodium intake in general? Period. And the truth is, I really never was that big on having that as a concern to the point where I over uh, analyze it or just constantly thought about it or you know what I mean, stuff like that. And so I basically decided, man, that I was gonna really, after after he and I discussed it and talked about it, I, I thought I was really gonna go ahead and get, you know what I'm saying, some good information for myself personally on how much sodium uh, is needed for me. Because I explained to him, as I'm gonna explain to y'all, that I drink a lot of water, a lot of water to flush it out. Now, I do drink zero calorie um, sodas and uh, a lot of zero calorie tea. You know what I'm saying? In fact, let me show you real quick. This is this is the tea, all right guys, that I drink right here. Um, this one, oh, let's see the camera here. Uh, there we go. It's, it's called Red Diamond. Uh, with Splendid. Okay, this is, if you can see that, zero calorie, all right? Now, I'm not saying that drinking zero calorie makes it better, you know what I'm saying? Uh, to flush things out of your body because you can still get sodium in your body from zero calorie uh, Cokes, uh, zero calorie, anything zero calorie, any kind of zero calorie soda, you still gonna get um, some sodium in your body. Now, how much sodium does one need? Okay, how much sodium does one need is the real question. And a lot of you out there probably don't know. I do a lot of research. And in my researching, I have found from various, various uh, sites that on average, okay, on average, if you are black, Okay, and you or and or 51 years of age or older, you need to be in taking about 1500 milligrams of sodium per day on average. Okay, if you are not Afro American or black and you are younger than 51 years of age, then you should be consuming at least 2300 milligrams of sodium per day. That's the bare minimum. Now, I know somebody probably gonna say, or probably gonna think like I did, like, okay, so what if I've been tracking my sodium on a regular basis, along with my macros, along with my micros, I've been tracking all this, oh, and, and of course my fiber. And I realized that I've been getting, say, 1800, 1900, if you're black or 51 years of age, right? Or older, so, so, so forth. Or, fall into the other category where you're taking 2300 milligrams and you've been doing say 25 or 26 how does that affect you um one of the things that i've come to realization on and again guys it's it's, it's only with my body is that i know when i've had too much sodium uh for me because the body will tell you okay leroy Colbert has a great saying man the body will complain, but it don't explain. And, it, and that's the truth, because when I, I know when I get a lot of sodium in my body, I start getting like, you know what I'm saying, certain pimples in certain places that I should, you know what I'm saying, that I hardly ever get them. Um, my mouth gets really dry. 
uh, all of that. You know what I'm saying? And it lets me know that I've had way too much sodium. I've been way, eating way too much sodium. And if you eat a lot of canned food or uh, frozen food, let me just say convenience foods like I do, they are jam-packed with sodium, okay? Uh, so make sure you, you you watching your your sodium intake, man. I think it's really important. Thanks, Dave, again, man, uh, for you know what I'm saying uh, making this topic for me because this was something that I think a lot of people just overlook. You know what I'm saying? In fact, I know we overlook. And um, what else was I going to tell you guys, man? Oh yeah. So one of my tips that I use as far as having sodium like in the canned goods is. We take them out of the can. Let's say you got some green beans or some canned beans or something like that. Uh, one of the things you need to do is put it in a, a strainer or a colander, whatever you do to, to rinse off your uh, vegetables or your food, and put it in there. Run it through some cold water real quick, rinse it off. Especially with beans and green beans and things like that, it's a little bit easier to do. And although it doesn't get all of the sodium out, it does get a, a fair amount of it out. And you can, you can kind of control it through that. Also, when you eat a lot of these, uh, again, convenience foods like uh, deli meats, for example, deli meats or any processed meat for that matter, any processed meat, uh, sausages, uh, things like that, man, they're going to have tons and tons of sodium in them, man. So you want to be careful on how much of that you're consuming on a daily basis. I get it, man. I get it. It's, it's convenience. I'm a, I'm a convenience food fan, man. When I'm hungry, I want to eat, man. Um, but you gotta watch it. Uh, there are so many apps out there that you can purchase or you can download on your phones for free. And when you're tracking your macros or tracking whatever you calories, however you guys wanna do it, make sure that it has one where an app portion on it where it tracks your sodium. And then you can actually watch how much sodium you are intaking on a regular basis. And again, like I told Dave, I drink a lot of water, that's what has helped me. It's drinking all that water, flushing and flushing my system out. It makes you feel better, you know what I'm saying? And I guess from this point on, now that you should be aware, if you weren't before, being aware of how much sodium you intake in your body, all right?